Now we're going to put all the hip openers together in a sequence or a continuous flow with the help of senior Barkin teacher Elena. Wave to the camera, Elena. We're going to start with sun salutation. Just really the, the part of sun salutation where we do runner's lunge. Right leg swings through. Runner's lunge. Open up that chest. Pull the right hip back. Left hip flexor stretching. Let's go back to downward dog. It's just a warm up for the hip openers. Left leg through, runner's lunge. Pull back on the left hip, back leg straight, hamstring to the ceiling, exhale. Inhale, left leg back, downward dog. We're gonna go right to crescent warrior. Right leg through, hands on the hips, peel your stomach off the thigh, arms overhead. A lot of you are gonna have to stay here but if you're all the way down where your lane is, you can interlace your fingers into a crescent back bend. Back leg is straight, it's key. Open up the heart, open up the chest. Good, now drop the left knee down, bring it forward underneath the hip. The right knee on top of the ankle, round forward, head to knee, round the spine. Inhale up, exhale back bend, kneeling salute. Chest opens, push into that right shin. Change, back downward dog. Left leg swings through Crescent Warrior. Peel it up, arms overhead, shoulders down. Take that back bend only if the thigh's parallel, it's a little amplification. Making sure the back leg is straight, beginner to advanced, primary thought. Change, right knee down, underneath the hip. Carve out the two right angles, head to knee, rounded spine. Inhale up, exhale back. Kneeling salute. And back to downward facing dog. Stretch out the legs, lower back. Exhale. Good, now let's turn around and relax in Shavasana now. We've had a nice warm up. Hopefully you got the room nice and warm at home. Shavasana, arms by your side. Let the energy circulation flow through the body. We begin with Supta Bhadrasana, soles of the feet together. So let the knees open out. External rotation. You can place your hands at the inner thighs to help with that rotation. Long exhale and breath. Good, and we hold this one nice and long so the connective tissue has a chance to respond. It tires and it gives way. Bring your knees together and Shavasana, arms by your side. And for this particular sequence, we're gonna do Jhana Parasana two first. The normal barking class, we do Jhana Parasana one first, but that was, I wanna show you the difference between the external rotation and internal rotation. So knees up, feet flat. Her right foot's gonna step out to the right of the mat, and the knee draws into the center. Left foot crosses over to the right thigh. And just the weight of your left leg is gonna stretch that right side. IT bent, right arm over your head. Nice side body stretch. Exhale and breathe. Change, relax completely in Shavasana. Other side, knees up, feet flat. He'll toe the left foot out toward the left. Draw the knee into the right, but don't the knee cross the center. You can keep that foot right where Elaine has it now as a modification. If you don't need to modify, the foot crosses over. The leg drops, the hip stretches, especially that IT band, left arm over your head, nice exhale, stretch, and change, back Shavasana. Allowing the circulation to flow back into the target area. That's the whole idea of Shavasana, it completes the process. Jhana Parasana 1, knees up, feet flat, right foot crosses over to the left thigh, you can stay here to modify, or right hand shoots through the hole. Interlace the fingers, left knee in, right knee back. You got it that opposite direction. It's not just the left knee in. You gotta get that right knee to go back. Exhale, breathe, chin down, back of the neck on the floor. Change completely in Shavasana. Let's do the other side, knees up, feet flat. Foot crosses over to the right thigh. Left hand shoots through. Pull the knee to the chest. Now sometimes that you're holding the right 
knee. Sometimes that right foot goes down too low. Do that, Elena, yeah. Get that foot up so it's parallel. Pull the knee in, but the left knee back. That's that opposite direction that we're looking for. Change, arms and legs down. Shavasana. Good, happy baby, Ananda Balasana. Grab a hold of the feet. You're gonna stack the feet over the knees. You can hold outside or inside, either one. Chin down, back of the neck on the floor seems to be the theme for these bouncing po for these floor poses on your back. So as you're pulling on the feet, your knees are going down to the floor, but your heels are going to the ceiling. Opposite direction. You can play around with the position to find where the tightness is in your hips so you can address it. You can pull into it through a long exhale. Good. And release. Shavasana. Circulation rush, flowing right down through the body. Good, we'll have Elena do one, one we call roll ups, knees up, feet flat, arms overhead. She comes up, turns around for tabletop, back to downward facing dog, and we finish with Ikapata Kopatasana, one legged pigeon pose, right leg sweeps the sky, swing it through, point the knee to the right corner of the mat, left leg extends back behind you. Good, front of the hip, stretching. Remember, you can modify it by taking a block under your right buddy cheek and then over from your head. Otherwise, down you go, head to the floor. Eyes closed. Pratyahara. Long exhaling breath. As we address the hips, open them up, create that range of motion through the long exhaling breath. Connective tissue begins to soften and fatigue. And then forget about the physical and get in more to the emotional, mental side. Take one more long, deliberate breath. And then change back to downward dog. Left leg sweeps the sky, swing it through. Point the knee to the left corner of the mat. Hips are square. Head down, right leg extends behind you, down she goes. Exhale. Other side. Take a long exhaling breath. Feel the difference between this side and the other side. One side's gonna be more open, one side more challenged. Have that awareness. And you wanna start on the surface layer, you don't wanna go too far too soon. Take your time to get there. Long exhaling breath. With each breath, you're gonna go a little deeper, a little softer, find full expression. Take one more long, deliberate breath in and out. Change, back to downward dog. Stretch out those legs. And turn around and relax to our final Shavasana, what I consider to be the most important moment of the class. Settle in, arms by your side, palms up. Legs about hip width apart, toes out. Eyes closed, but shift your gaze to the third eye, the sixth chakra, the gentle shift of your gaze helps to quiet the mind's chatter. Visualize your spine as an open channel, a hollow tube. And with your thoughts, think of the breath starting at the very base of the spine. As you inhale, think of it spiraling up, all the way up past the belly, the heart chakra, the throat to the third eye. On the exhale, visualize the breath in a reverse spiral, lowering back down, throat, heart, belly, to the base of the spine at the root chakra. Up on the inhale, it rises up. On the exhale, it lowers down. At your own rhythm and pace. As we slow the breath, we slow the heart rate. Once again, slowing the mind's chatter. Hip openers can be a very emotional experience. We can lock traumatic experiences into the body. We can use this flow, this moment, this time to release that tension, that emotional trauma once and for all. So as you enjoy this final Shavasana, feel yourself coming to balance. 
through the breath, through your thoughts, through your intention. And so it is. I thank you for joining me. We'll see you at the next flow, our next video. Namaste. So that's our episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button, subscribe button, any comments and questions, put them down below. I get all the comments. If you want to learn all about hot yoga, hit the subscribe button right now. And we'll see you the next video. Bye, everyone.